a weekly ritual for Zhang Huanzhe since her son was executed. Mia Shubin was only 20 years old when he was wrongly accused of rape and murder by the Chinese police. His mother and sister told me how he was held in jail for three years without being allowed to see his family once. They never let me see him after his arrest. That continued till the end. I never saw him again before he was executed. And nobody told us that he had been executed. Nia was accused of attacking a woman in this field near his home. Only after his execution did another man confess to the attack, describing the crime scene in detail. But Nia's family have never been compensated. His father has attempted suicide. His family say he's lost his mind in his grief. His mother burns with rage about what happened to her son. I just had one son. All my hopes rested on him. They destroyed my future. It was my hope for the rest of my life. Without my son, my family and I can't go on. The authorities refused to clear her son's name and help end her torment. In another province, we found another victim of Chinese justice who was held in this prison and framed for crimes he didn't commit. Chin Yang Hong was a steel worker and family man till the state branded him a rapist and murderer. He was sentenced to death in a trial that lasted just half a day, the only evidence of false confession extracted by torture. They took turns to beat me. They don't let you sleep for days. They torment you. I still don't like to think about it. They beat me for days and tied me to the chair with my arms behind my back. It was very painful. Chin narrowly avoided being executed. He was only released to his family when a serial killer confessed to his alleged crimes. Very few escaped China's death row and survived to share its secrets. Torture to extract confessions is commonplace in Chinese jails, though rarely filmed. China's penal system is surrounded by a wall of secrecy. But a hidden mass slaughter is being carried out. Somewhere between three and a half and ten thousand people put to death every year. So many that China is inventing new ways of killing, mobilizing its execution system. This brochure, acquired by Sky News, reveals details of new execution buses now operating across China. Fitted with lethal injection equipment, they can deliver on-the-spot executions. But there may be another reason for them. They make it easier to remove the organs of executed prisoners. In an exclusive report earlier this year, Sky News gathered evidence linking China's execution system and its booming organ transplant industry. Filming secretly, we posed as relatives of a man needing a new liver. Doctors said they could provide a transplant with just a few weeks' notice. One reason organs are acquired so quickly, they said, is they're taken from executed prisoners. Amnesty International says the demand for transplant organs may be driving the high number of executions in China. This is the China its government wants the world to see. In two years' time, it hopes the Olympics will announce China's arrival as a modern nation on the world stage. China was given the Olympics on the understanding it would improve its human rights record but it's continuing to execute thousands of people in a legal system that uses unfair trials and torture. Within China, few are brave enough to confront the tyranny of its justice system. Gao Jiusheng is a lawyer with a heart and a lot of courage. He used to defend prisoners facing the death penalty before authorities banned him from practicing. It's painful being a lawyer in China, he told me, at times struggling with his emotions as he spoke of the people he's seen go to their death. In China, defending the condemned is a futile occupation. 99.99% of those who are accused of a crime and face the death penalty are found guilty and executed. Lawyers are no use at all. In every death penalty case that I defended, all of my clients were executed.
Tipped off that police were on the way, we cut short our interview. Authorities had put Gao under surveillance, with teams of undercover officers keeping watch outside his home. Uniformed police were waiting for us, and we were detained, but not for long. The man we'd been to visit hasn't been so lucky. Weeks after our interview, Gao Jiasheng was arrested without a warrant. No one, including his wife and children, have heard from him since. Even by official figures, more people are executed every year in China than the rest of the world put together. The ranks of the condemned continue to grow, while calls for reform are being silenced. Dominic Waghorn, 